The World Golf Championships bring the greatest players from around the globe. Tiger Woods has proven his dominance in these events, winning 12 titles in all. Woods has won five CA Championship titles alone, but he arrives in Miami off the heels of disaster. Oh my goodness, off the rocks and into the water. Both young guns and veterans are looking for a title of their own. The Blue Monster is the test to see who can emerge victorious. Arnold Palmer! Jack Nicklaus has won at Inverary. Be the right club today. Yes! What do you think about that? Go in. Oh! 59, the best final round ever. <laughs> Welcome to this edition of PGA Tour Classic, the 2007 World Golf Championship CA Championship. Doral, a staple on the PGA Tour since 1962. It is a long course with tough greens and water hazards around every corner. But it's the demanding 18th, the famed Blue Monster, that will provide a stern challenge as Doral welcomes the world. Day one of the 2007 World Golf Championship CA Championship. The stage is set in Miami Beach, Florida. 73 players from 18 countries will be competing at the Doral Golf Resort and Spa Blue Monster Course. The players were greeted with warm temperatures, yet cloudy and breezy conditions would move into the scene. Showers passing throughout the day with wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Doral's Blue Monster Course showed its teeth in round one. Robert Allenby in contention during round one. His second shot at the 14th is a beauty. The Australian has had a great 2007, already with five top tens. Allenby would make birdie. Now Sweden's Henrik Stenson for birdie at 15. And the WGC Accenture match play champion is off to a great start. Sergio Garcia is looking to make a move in 2007. After a fifth place last week at the Arnold Palmer Invitational, there is the Spaniard at the first for eagle. Tiger Woods has won 12 of 23 World Golf Championships events. He's the clear favorite this week. He opens with his first approach of the day. 148 yards. Tiger would tap that in for birdie. And then his second hole, birdie putt from 32 feet. At two under through two holes, Tiger looks ready to claim another WGC CA championship. Ernie Els coming off birdie at the 12th with his tee shot at 13. Easy, easy, easy. The South African would go on to make birdie to bring him one shot off the lead. Els finishes round one with a two under seven. After a birdie on the par four seventh, Henrik Stenson has this putt to give him the outright lead. Stinson would go on to shoot an opening round five under 67 and a share of first. I was working hard on my putting and that was uh, the key today. I made a, a lot of nice putts out there. It's a struggle out there. You just try and grind it out, hit the fairways, hit the greens. And, you know, I, I took the chances when I had them. Robert Allenby at the fifth hole, currently four under par from 148 yards. This approach, Robert Allenby would make birdie and would also finish with a five under 67, tied with Stenson for the first round lead. Tiger Woods is coming off a disastrous finish last week at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. While in contention, Tiger finished bogey, double bogey, 
triple bogey to shoot a final 943. After a great start in round one, Tiger struggled with the flat stick. He's forced to take a hard look at the state of his game. Well, I think you have to analyze your performance and where you went wrong. And, you know, too many people are afraid to look at, uh, you know, deep down and, and look at where you made mistakes. That's not always easy to do, to be honest with yourself. And uh, it's something my father had always instilled in me. And even to this day, sometimes it's difficult, but you have to take an honest look and, and have an honest evaluation of your performance. And um, I made too many mental mistakes, which I never do. Uh, physical mistakes I can handle, but um, since this is not a reactionary sport, I just just frustrating for me to, uh, to to make a mental mistake. At the end of a gusty day one, Sweden's Henrik Stenson and Australia's Robert Allenby would lead the field, both shooting an opening round five under 67. Tiger Woods sits four back, tied for tenth at one under. Day two of the 2007 World Golf Championship CA Championship. The weather today is much improved from yesterday. Warm temperatures greet the players and the fans for the second round. Players would be looking to attack the Blue Monster with these beautiful conditions. Leader Robert Allenby, his second at number two after the opening round 67. That would lead to birdie but he would give one back. Tiger Woods, after starting round one birdie birdie, he does the same in round two with this approach at the short par four second. The birdie moves him to four under. Sergio Garcia for birdie at the third, the toughest hole on day one. Sergio is looking for his first win on the PGA Tour in almost two years. Ernie Els, the 2004 champion, for birdie at the par 4 14th. After starting on the back nine, Els moves to four under. Rod Pampling from 155 yards at the par 4 6th. Pampling, the winner of the Arnold Palmer Invitational a year ago, this eagle would get him to four under par. Round one co-leader Henrik Stenson also at the sixth for birdie. And that would give Stenson the outright lead at minus six. Now we go out to the action, joined by Nick Faldo and Rich Lerner. Now at number 10, Tiger Woods. That's great touch. That was a tough putt down there. Downhill, down grain, bit of wind. All right, Tiger Woods is creeping back into the picture at four under par, three back of Stenson. And at the par 5 12th, the third shot of leader Henrik Stenson. See the hole cut deep left. Good wind from right to left. It is just four yards left to that hole location. Looks like he got it started on a pretty good line. He does. A little deep. Right over the top of the flag stick. That would be a quick little chip coming down the hill to 11. Tiger stuffed it in pretty close and has this for another birdie to draw to within two of Stenson. And Tiger wins the strategy race at the number 11. Went down the left hand side of the bunker. Gave him the best angle. He makes the three and breathing easier now that he's begun to make some putts. Five under and two back. Now Stenson the leader at number 12. About 30 feet past the hole, a delicate Ooh. little chip, and that a bit fluffy there. It was, wasn't that tough. Stinson would go on to bogey, dropping a shot, leaving Tiger Woods just one shot back. Tiger for birdie and a share of the lead. You can guarantee at the beginning of the game, they to make a, some kind of prediction when will Tiger get into the lead. It's quite amazing, isn't it? Five under par in his round today. Henrik Stenson, par putt to stay at six under. Oh, very quickly, Stenson drops out of the lead. It is really pouring now. 
and this one just sort of came out of nowhere in the last 15 minutes. And so now the mood changes. Players will have to pull out umbrellas and hunker down for the last few holes. Tiger Woods at 17. <laughs> and uh, Mark, is the rain uh, letting up just a little? <laughs> well, it's only hard now, well. not very hard. <laughs> very makeable putt here for Tiger. Yeah, very good. Excellent stroke. Beautifully positioned second shot. Left the uphill putt he could be aggressive with. Great concentration in uh, some very adverse conditions, but you wouldn't expect anything less. Robert Allenby. Tough day for Robert Allenby, but certainly not too far back. Began the day tied for the lead with Stenson. Tiger has this amazing record of how he's led. When he leads, not at these events or regular tournaments, world championship events or majors, he doesn't go backwards. And it's a bit like the putt that he eventually missed. Uh, we talked about Tiger never misses a clutch putt. He finally misses one at the match play. You know, out of the law of averages, as I said, not, not throwing a negative at him, but one day he can't keep continuing, can it, this stat? He has been human lately. Yeah. Not here. <laughs> no, not here. Safe to say that the final round 76 at Bay Hill is in the rearview mirror. At the end of day two, Tiger Woods sits atop the leaderboard. The struggles of first round leaders Henrik Stenson and Robert Allenby leave Tiger Woods with a two shot lead going into the weekend. In 2004, Australian Craig Perry found himself in a playoff on Doral's Blue Monster. Solid shot. This is a good looking shot. This is going at the hole. What a shot by Craig Perry! Unbelievable! Championship over! Perry's hole out is a classic moment and known as one of the greatest shots in PGA Tour history. The fans are out again for a gorgeous day here in Miami Beach, Florida for round three of the 2007 World Golf Championship CA Championship. The weather is perfect, sunny and breezy. Temperature in the low 80s with 20 mile per hour winds. The scene is set for day three here at the famed Doral Blue Monster course. Now let's go to Johnny Miller and Dan Hicks for the action. This just a short time ago, world number one Tiger Woods making his way to the first tee to a loud ovation in anticipation of his opening tee shot in the third round of this WGC CA championship. And of that, he's won five times in search of another trophy here. His opening tee shot at the par five first in the fairway. This just a short time ago as well. His second with a four iron from 231 yards away at the opening par five. Couldn't be a much better start for Tiger. Delivers it to within 10 feet of the hole. So he will have an opening eagle try at the par five first. Tiger uh, playing near flawless golf at least today and off the heels of his 66 yesterday has a chance to make an early statement here to get to nine under and increase the lead to three. This is the way to start a day isn't it easy type putt green a little bit to the left. Great chance to make eagle. Yes and that putting stroke he got figured out a couple of days ago and now Tiger Woods to nine under a three shot lead as he aims for yet another title on this beguiling layout at Doral. At the seventh this was Brett Wetterick for birdie. We've been telling you how hot he has been started the day at two under birdies at the first and the second and then another one at five and six. Looks like you'll settle for par there and remain at six under three back. 
Back over to the third for Pampling second, Roger. Well, he came over it, huh? Yeah, flighted it down, but missing it left. Came over it. Yeah, that water talks to you on your backswing. And that's going to be a tough little up and down for Pampling over there on the short side. We'll move ahead to six. And Henrik Stenson with his third from the bunker here. Stenson had a share of the first round lead with Robert Allenby after opening up with a 67. Fell off the pace a bit yesterday with a 73. At the 10th, Brett Wetterick, long hitting, going for it here, right? Or uh, Dottie? 256 all the way to the hole, 226 to the front, into the breeze from the right. Into the breeze? It is picked up and it is not helping at all. You're right. Wetterick loves it. Well, down at the green, the flag is downwind and to the left. On the collar, Wetterick will have an eagle try. Just getting it in at the seventh for a birdie to get to four under. And back to six. We'll see if Tiger can ward off yet another bogey. Early, 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 on. early walk there, Raj. Yeah, he is yeah. frying pan hot now. And that is the first bogey for Tiger Woods in 30 holes. And now Wetterick is just one behind to eight. A moment ago, Dan, this was uh, Stenson's third here at the par five. 91 yards. Don't tell me. He carries it. <laughs> 91 oh. yards and one inch. <laughs> and almost backs it up into the hole. Well, they say Tiger feeds off his anger. I guess Stenson doing his number. And back down to the par four seventh. Huge crowds following Woods and Pampling in this final group. Put the chin move ever so slightly to the left. The grain's running to the right, so I think it's got to be kept inside the cup. Well, that'll cool Tiger off a little bit after that bogey at six, and so he jumps it right back up to nine under. And back at 13 now, and Brett Wedrick, this for his par, Dottie. Yeah, the chip shot really got away from him coming over that ridge, Murph. Now this pot will be back up the hill and moving to his right. Oh boy. Got that field today. Five birdies, no bogeys. We go to back to the eighth and uh, Woods uh, getting ready for his third, Roger. 92 yards. Uh wind uh, from mostly from left to right but helping uh, ever so slightly as well. I would think uh, with this whole cut in the front he would try to take this ball down pretty low gearing it to spin. Yeah you got to be careful here Roger. I've actually seen a couple of balls uh, land a little short and a little right of the hole with too much spin and come back into the water. I think you might hit that little low trap draw in there. Well, I think anything that uh, would keep the spin off of it Johnny would be very well advised. Going with the real open uh, backswing. Have you noticed that? Boy, that face gets open. I know Hank Haney's got him doing that sort of a Ben Hogan move. Of course, Hank Haney, the instructor that uh, Tiger has been working with the last few years. Well, I'd say that's controlling the spin. What a shot. Tiger would go on to birdie and make the turn at 10 under par. Welcome back to round three of the 2007 WGC CA Championship. We go to 12. And Tiger Woods fourth at the par five from a buried lie. Just sticks the club in the sand. No follow through required and what great touch. You know what he did on that shot? <laughs> look at, look, yeah, look, look, he's smiling here, Johnny. He knows how good that one is. Look at Steve saying, Ooh. He's shaking his head. Yeah. Like, Come on. All right, this to save par at 18 for Wetterick. Gets yeah. out. Yes, nicely done. Live under round. That's some great putting there and some great shots. I just tried to go out and play some good golf, you know, so I. I Tried to put myself in spots where I wasn't making big numbers, and I did a pretty good job of that, I think. 
And just a moment ago at 17, Henrik Stenson for birdie three. And nicely done. That moved him to five under par, but it's been a slow round for him. Just uh, two birdies against one bogey today. And we go back to 16, and the man with the big stick, Tiger Woods. And he will be taking dead aim at the green. Well, what would be for lack of effort? Man, that was a big swing. It carries all the way up into the front bunker. Well, let's take another look at the swing, Johnny. A big wide base and really is swinging the club beautifully. I think, uh, as you say, so steady with the head. Big, full wind up club face, a little bit open, which promotes a complete release as he comes through, leading with the lower body, staying taller. I think, which is really beneficial. Always had a tendency to drop a little bit. Yeah, he has that, it creates a lot of power. He does drop there at the top of his back, and so he bends down, gets in that power squat position, then comes back up by impact, which gives a lot of lift. Tiger would go on to birdie the 16th, bringing him to 11 under par. Up on the green at 18, Stenson trying to save his par. Remember, it came very close to the water. Not a lot of break, just possibly right edge, but good chance inside right edge. He's looking out at right edge. Yeah, right edge, but it didn't carry quite enough speed, did it? Stenson with a 72 today, minus four. Too much trouble from here for him, I would think, if he gets the right distance. A lot of green up there. What do you think he'll hit, Roger? It depends, John. I, I would think a standard seven iron would do it for him. Uh, wind really not hurting. It's mostly almost straight left to right. There's the draw. Well, it's a beautiful looking shot if the distance is good. Oh, my. Hogan-esque. Tiger would miss his birdie putt, finishing with par on his 18th hole, shooting a four under 68. Woods was all business after the round. Well, you go out there and compete, and you go out there and play, and if you're leading, that means usually you're playing halfway decent, so you know, hopefully tomorrow I can go and handle my business. At 11 under, Tiger Woods leads the World Golf Championship CA Championship after round three. Tiger will be playing in the final group with Brett Wetterick, who sits four shots off the lead. It's the final round of the 2007 WGC CA Championship, and it seems to all point to victory number 56 for Tiger Woods. A four-shot lead heading into the final round, and on his opening hole, a 16-footer for birdie. The lead is now five in an event and on a course where Tiger Woods seems to bring out some of his finest work. For nearly half a century, Doral has ushered in generations of greatness while welcoming the game's best to the Florida swing. Now, for the first time, it has welcomed the world to its famed Blue Monster. Yet this stage has belonged only to one man. Tiger Woods' stranglehold on these trophies is almost too good to be true. Five in this event alone. An incredible 12 in all. And there's no reason to believe he won't hoist another one by week's end. Welcome back to the Doral Golf Resort and Spa, where the winds are whipping across the Blue Monster again today. This is the 46th consecutive year this familiar layout has hosted a PGA Tour event, and for the first time, a World Golf Championships event. And even with Tiger's four-stroke lead coming into today, there are plenty of holes which can swallow you up, mainly the infamous par 4 18th, which this week is on pace to play as tough as it ever has. Now let's go out to the action with Johnny Miller and Dan Hicks. All right, just three bogeys in this championship 
thus far for Tiger Woods. He's done a great job of staving him off with par saving putts like this, Raj. This will be a heck of a four. Very surprising. Got a little bit of a pop on that one and squirted it to the right. So that's an unforced error there, but didn't play the hole well. Bad drive, could have gone in the water. And then he played the smart shot left. He doesn't miss too many putts like that. First miss inside of five feet all week was that putt right there. And over at 11, we pick up the first round co leader, Robert Allenby. Got a good round going four under, four birdies on the front nine for the Aussie. He's played, played well this year. And now Wetterick for his birdie. Might have learned, a, little. learned a lot, I would yeah. think. I would think is right, Roger. Certainly on the speed. Line looks good. Line looks good. Brad Wetterick. A rare birdie at number four. That moves him to seven under. That's got to be a big confidence builder to make a putt like that with Tiger Woods on early in the round. I would think it would help to settle the nerves a great deal. Over at the 12th, the long par five. This is Robert Allenby for birdie. Just over 60 feet. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> His fifth birdie of the day against no bogeys. Good view from the green as we look back at the fifth hole and over in the rough there, Tiger Woods. Roger. Well, he's drawing a good lie here, Murph. 145 to the hole. Wind almost directly in his face from the left hand side of the fairway. You don't have much room to the right of the flag stick, so preferably. Favor left. Tight hole location just over the bunkers. Got a yard. Just got to get up a little bit, maybe. Steve Break. talking to it. <laughs> Go one yard, he said. It did. The 11. Jeff Ogilvie for birdie. He's playing with Henrik Stenson, a grouping which matches the final championship match in the Accenture match play event in Tucson and Ogilvy with three birdies in the last four holes. All right for par. And this will move a little bit to his left. Just depends how firmly he hits it. It turned fast for how hard he hit it, Roger. It did. It ducked across the hole. But I think if he'd have wa watched Wetter's uh, approach, uh, it really went up the hill to the right. I mean, went up towards the back of the green really strongly. And I guess that's why his putt did the same thing. Look how Tiger. fast he hits that. Yep. Three bogeys in the first 56 holes of this championship, Jenny. Two bogeys in the last four for Tiger, and a chance for Wetterick to get one closer here. Well, this was that tough stretch, Roger. Three, four, five, and six. Uh, five is usually an easy hole, and Tiger did birdie it, but it was dead into the wind. So he's through the tough stretch on the front nine now. Nine's no bargain either. He should move just a little bit to his right. Really important putt for him. No. Oh, yeah, he looked like he came out of it. He was walking like that was going to get away. But Wetterick is within four. Ahead to 14. And just earlier, Robert Allenby, six under par, just over the green, plays a little chip right down on top of the ball, and boom, right in the bottom. Allenby goes to seven under. Go back to the ninth. Where Tiger is ready, Roger. Seven iron here, and this is really a very similar shot to the second shot he played at the sixth. Hole cut on the left, wind coming from the left. Uh, this just a little bit longer shot, but uh, almost playing in exactly the same direction with the same wind condition. Not air mailed, but he is over. This ball very, very high and a little left of the hole. Pretty good looking shot. Wonderful shot. Closest we've seen in some hour or so. Tiger Woods would go on to birdie the ninth hole, getting him to 12 under par. A five-shot lead over Wetterick and Allenby with just nine holes to play in the 2007 World Golf Championship CA Championship. 
Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic, the 2007 World Golf Championship CA Championship. Tiger Woods has started the back nine with a five shot lead. Let's go down to the action. Brett Wetterick has already laid up here at the par five tenth, and now it's Tiger's turn, Roger. You can see he's looking out to the right. It started right, John, and it is flirting with the bunker on the right. Turns back just inside it. That's a heck of a shot. Great distance control. In fact, off the charts distance control. Down, wind into the left, out of the rough. Come on. That was super. A bar putt for Allenby, Mark. Got to start it outside the hole to the left. Firm enough? No. Just runs out of speed. So Allenby drops his first shot of the day. All right, Tiger. Quick one here, Johnny. Downwind, down green. Best shot of the day, three holes in a row. Guy's on fire. Just trundle it down there, as you say, Raj. Great shots on eight. Closest of the day, nine closest of the day, and then again this one. So three straight great holes, huh, Roger? Yeah, very good shots, quality shots, all of them. And all of a sudden the lead is six with Tiger's second straight birdie as he makes the turn. This is Robert Allenby from 189 coming in. Just 12 birdies all week, just two today at 18. Well, that was pretty textbook. He just played it up to the right, um, let the slope move it over. So Allenby will have a chance at a birdie from above the hole. Back to 11. Par putt for Tiger. Left center at most. Pretty straight. was right out of the cup the whole way John. Yeah remember last week he was hitting a lot of those short putts where he squirted them to the right. You remember that Dan. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just what he's done a couple times uh, in the last hour and a half. So look at him he's like he hates three putting and making bogeys more than anybody that's ever played I think the game. With Wood's third bogey in nine holes, one can't help but think back to Tiger's rough finish coming into this event, where he struggled down the stretch at Bay Hill. While in contention, Tiger shot a back nine 43 at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. A triple bogey at the last took him completely out of the competition. The door is opening again here at Doral. Let's go back to the coverage. Robert Allenby for birdie now at 18. Big slicer here. Sort of waved at that a little bit. Is it going to chase down there? Oh, oh it chased. That was a good putt. It's going to be a par finish for Allenby in a five under round of 70 or of uh, 67. So Allenby with an impressive day. He matches what he put up on Thursday in the first round when he had a share of the lead with Henrik Stenson. Had a couple of 74s in between, but the low round on this final round at the route. Back to 12. And the short putt for a par for Brett Wetterick to remain in second place at seven under. Well, I would think if anything, you have to favor inside the left part of the hole anyway, left center, don't you? Yeah. Well, Green's got to be moving along to the right. Yeah, but it's a pretty straight putt, Roger. You can miss it left easily if you get it off the hole like that. So uh, the lead now six for Tiger Woods. And we go to 14. There just a moment ago, Paul Casey from the back fringe, and that's where we're seeing most of the shots. This green very firm. Bye bye. Looks easy, Murph. Ball goes to five under par. So we go back to 13. And Tiger, who spoke uh, yesterday about the wind and having to constantly make adjustments to your clubs, guessing on some clubs, and just a uh, discomfort that goes with playing in a hard wind all the time.
Difficult hole, one birdie all day on this hole, and Tiger makes a bogey as well. Okay, so Tiger's lead by five. We'll check out what just happened at the par 3 15th. Nicholas Fast chipping in for birdie. That's his second consecutive birdie. Moves to four under and playing with Sergio Garcia. Will it rub off on the Spaniard? Chip, chip. 2 2. And Garcia smiling today. That moves him into a tie for third, and all of a sudden he's got Wetterick in his sights as he's moving up the leaderboard. And back to 14. Wetterick now, Roger, I make that drive 342 yards. He's only got 127 left. Is that a pin on the green, Murph? I mean, <laughs> I've never seen it that far left. Very high, just right of the hole. Beautiful. Very well played. Wetter would go on to birdie the 14th, bringing him within four shots of Tiger Woods. A moment ago, this was Rod Pampling's third shot at the par for 17th. And finally, something good. He had made three double bogeys and the rest pars up to that point for the man who played in the final group yesterday with Tiger Woods. And we're back at the par 4 16th, the dog leg left, 372 yards on the card, but uh, only about 320 yards to the putting surface going on a straight line, and that's where Brett Wetterick is headed. About right here, Gary. Mm hmm. This will be entertaining. Oh, man. Wow, that was killed. <laughs> this looks like it's left of the green, though. It looks like too far left of the line. Well, he's got it up in between the bunkers. Sweet shot. Huh? <laughs> Wetter would go on to birdie the 16th, bringing him just three shots behind Woods. Both players would par the 17th, leaving just one daunting blue monster hole to play before crowning the 2007 World Golf Championship CA champion. Welcome back to the 2007 WGCCA Championship. Tiger Woods has a three-shot lead standing on the final hole. Let's go down to the action at the 18th. This hole is just brutally hard, 467 yards. Got water really in play. Most likely a uh, couple of, yeah, it wouldn't be surprised to see them both hit it right off this tee. And if you got to get lucky if you hit it right off 18, that's all there is to it. I mean, there's palm trees over there and all kinds of little problems. So hopefully they can commit to uh, just carrying over part of that water. It's going to be the third toughest finishing hole on tour since hole stats were first kept in 1983. Let's see if Brett can hit a good drive. They both hit it right on the last hole. This ball right down the water line. Boy, that's that's really clutch. That shows wow. that this guy has got some guts to be able to hit that shot right there. Right. This play, Tiger with an iron. He's uh, hit the fairway. Going to leave him a lot left for his second, John. Yeah, it is. But you know, guy's got a three-shot lead. Doesn't have a good history hitting the fairway here at 18. I think uh, John Vanderbilt should have seen this prior to the British. A little low one, and that's perfect right in the middle. So Tiger Woods in the fairway, a long way behind Brett Wetterick, but Wetterick's a long way behind him in the moment. What's he got left, Raj? He's got 245 left to the hole. Lay up, I, keep up. Thinking, I keep thinking of Al Davis, Johnny. Just win, baby. And he's know? laying up again. Double layup here for Tiger at 18. Well, he wouldn't have done this if Wetterick would have made that putt on the last hole. That was 
It's not going to get in the fairway. Oh, yes, that's it fine. is. Okay. Yeah. The angle we had here looked like it was had a little less. It's actually not the greatest angle, but he, you know, it would have been better if he was down farther to the right, but no problem. Brett Wetterick needs a Craig Perry here, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you never know. 148 left of the hole. The tee shot he hit here, Johnny, looked just exactly like Tiger's tee shot here yesterday. That's the best tee shot of the day, I think, on this hole. Just dead center. Look at that. Tough to hit a close zone. I don't know if anybody's hit it real close here, but this one's got a pretty good line, doesn't it? It's a good looking shot if the distance is good. How about this finish for Wetterick? It's not totally over yet. If he can, <laughs> yeah, if he can make a birdie out of that, get it to nine under. Tiger's out there in three. He's going to need that five. Tiger Woods has a three shot lead here in the 72nd hole of this WGCCA championship. Laid up with an iron off the tee at 18 and laid up again. Lies two. Wetterick hit a beautiful second in and has a very realistic chance of birdie. Left to right wind. Ball going in deep, real deep. That's up there where Kalkovecchia was. I wonder if he knows how quick that is. And Johnny referred to Mark Kalkovecchia's putt. This was for bogey earlier in this championship. This is what can happen if you let it get out of hand here. Yeah, and Kalk's uh, putt is very close to uh, was and where Tiger is right now, and that didn't look too bad, right? Does it, folks? And it looks like it's going to hang up in the thick rough. Instead, all the way in the water, a quadruple bogey for Kalkovecchia, who's trying to hang on for a spot in the Masters, but that's a whole other story. Tiger trying to hang on to this victory. So, I mean, this putt is quite close to where Kalkovecchia putted in the water, Raj. There's a huge right break there, and it gathers speed as it takes that right turn. I'm sure he's going to be very cautious with it, but he's, he's in his mind, he knows he has to two putt this. Start picking up a little spit pace in there. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. pretty good under the circumstances. He's very happy with that. With all the chips pushed to the table, Tiger comes up big. His wife, Elon, watches it, breathing a little easier now. Still a little ways away for his bogey, and now you <laughs> see that little bit of <laughs> sigh of relief for Tiger. Must make for Wetterick on a hole, which has given up just three birdies today, 13 all week. This to get to nine under and make Tiger's bogey putt a little more interesting. Always left. Oh, no, it hung on. Oh, no. oh gosh. It got left quick and then it kind of stayed on its line. Yeah, the last two putts on 17 and 18, both of them were not as normal stroke. Very tentative. Um, a little scared on both strokes. Brett Wetterick pushes the world's number one to the 72nd hole here when it looked like he was toast. Bogeyed the first hole, Tiger birdied it. He was six behind right off the bat. Well, he beat Tiger Woods today. Yes. I mean, that's unusual. He shoots 71. Tiger's got this for 72. Tiger's playing competitor shot lower than him only seven times since 1999. And Brett Wetterick is one of them now and Tiger Woods bogey good enough to put away another World Golf Championship. 13 in all now in 24 starts. But he sweated down the stretch for this one. Tiger Woods final round 73 was enough to win his 13th World Golf Championships title and his sixth CA championship. This win marks the first time Tiger has recorded six wins in a single tournament. Congratulations Tiger Woods winner of the 2007 World Golf Championship CA championship. A PGA Tour classic.